Like, don't even ask me. The Super Mini is, I think, whoops, my back. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Here on my channel we speak about luxury designer handbags and today we speak about this beautiful Gucci Maman bag. And I did need some time to actually get on the Maman train. <laughs> I mean, we all know this came out, I don't know, three, four years ago and it was the biggest hype on Instagram. And um, I always knew I was so drawn towards this color. I love every purple shade out there <laughs> um, but yeah so I always knew like I was drawn to it I needed to decide which size I wanted to get and I'm going to tell you more about that later and yeah for me the biggest selling point of this was just the color I mean if you look at this how beautiful is this purple color so um, yeah let's talk about the Maman um, the Gucci Marmor flap has a really weird sizing system. This one is the mini size. There's one size that's smaller than this one, which is called the Super Mini. Like, don't even ask me, the Super Mini is, I think, whoops, my back. <laughs> okay, so the Super Mini size is about this size. I don't even know if, like, a phone fits in there. I think you could stretch it and it does fit in there because I once owned the Dionysus in the super mini size and that was a very structured bag so there was no way of fitting your phone in. But yeah I think the super mini size of this one you might be able to fit your phone in. However yeah it's the tiniest bag out there. Okay yeah so um, the super mini size is I think more comparable to your Chanel mini rectangular. Um, I do have both of them in my collection. They're actually standing next to each other on my cabinet. And yeah, they are pretty much the same size. Um, so then there is a size up from this one, which is called the small, which I would say, you know, corresponds to the medium large size in terms of Chanel sizing. And then there's the medium size of the Gucci Marmont flap, which would be an equal to the Chanel jumbo size. So, and there's no large, so why don't, you know, why don't you call the large one um, large? <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the mini size. I really really like the size. I knew I wanted this one um, for different reasons. Just aesthetically I thought this was the most pleasing bag for my eyes. Plus I don't know if you know about the squishiness of this bag. So let me take the stuffing out pretty quickly. This one is pretty squishy. So as you can see I'm able to just squish the bag in. This one still keeps its shape perfectly, but I think the larger you go in terms of sizing, the more squishy the entire bag will become. So I would um, definitely recommend the size. I've been pretty happy with it. Wear and tear has been great so far. We get into this. Let me first show you the inside of the bag. So if you open it up, you have this beautiful same color leather lining inside and then you have a satin kind of interior. There are no zipper compartments, you have one flap pocket here at the back of the interior and yeah it's just a pretty pretty salmon color I would say. So if you want to close the bag up what you have to do is you have to press this button in and again you can see if there's nothing in the bag the bag gets squished quite a lot. Boom. But um, I think once you put your wallet in there, and I mean some people might even have a bag shaper, I guess, for those kind of squishy bags. This is again the front of the bag and I really like this hardware. There have been some problems in the past with the hardware shipping, but I think that was only the first generation of bags and they were able to pretty quickly fix that problem. So yeah. There are no feet, obviously it's just your regular shoulder flap bag. And then the back of the bag comes with the infamous heart. <laughs> a lot of people like it, a lot of people hate it. So I think it's just a preference thing. I don't really mind um, that it comes with the heart because I think, I mean, nobody is seeing that anyway. You wear the bag, obviously, with the back towards your body. And even if you store the back away, um, 
nobody will ever really pay attention to the little heart at the back. So um, yeah, pretty beautiful bag. However, I have to say, um, you have to be a little bit more careful, obviously, this is velvet. Um, I did own two Gucci Dionysus bags in velvet in the past as well, which I've sold. And I have to say, I think the velvet on the Dionysus bags actually wears a little bit better than this one. It's not like this one has any major problems, not at all, but you have to be a little bit more careful. I don't know if you can see this here, the front part. Is it focusing? Oops, yeah, there it is. So that's where you put your hand and your fingers every time you open the bag. So depending on how the light falls of it, you can see that there's a little bit of wear and tear um, just because the velvet gets crushed pretty easily. Um, but yeah, in general, it's been great. I have been wearing this bag quite often, especially throughout the summer because you need to be careful that there's no rain touching the velvet. That would leave some stains as well. Um, but yeah, the Dionysus velvet bags, they are wearing a tiny little bit better. I don't know why, I don't know if they use a different material, um, but this one, yeah, it's very plush. <laughs> That's a word. In terms of wear and tear, you can see there is barely any wear. Like this, this the, the, the corner lining looked like this when I got it. So there is not really any wear and tear on the back. The bottom as well looks still pretty clean. And the back part too. Um, there is no color transfer or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, other than that, yeah, there's one thing you have to pay attention to. I only do carry my bag like this and you've seen the beginning of the video when I store the bag away, I actually put the entire chain inside the bag so that the chain isn't touching the velvet. What I've seen with a lot of bags, um, no matter if it's on the pre-loved market or w the back of one of my friends. If you wear it crossbody, let's do this. If you wear it crossbody like this, this part of the chain will really dig into the velvet. So you will have a pretty ugly mark up here if you wear it crossbody. So I would not advise to do it, but I know a lot of people like to wear the size crossbody, but you have to be aware that you're gonna have a very deep mark here on the top of the bag. I prefer to wear my bag just as a double strap shoulder bag, just to avoid getting any indentations or marks or scuffs on top of my bag. Okay, so in terms of modeling shots, here's a beautiful bag. You could just carry it as a clutch. I mean, it does look really great. I just love this pop of color. I mean, look, I just wear a very black outfit and this just elevates it immensely. Um, but yeah, my favorite style to wear this bag is just with the double strap over my shoulder. And yeah, I think it's just amazing. It looks really, really beautiful. There are many um, beautiful colors, like all of Gucci's velvet colors, they are outstanding and pop <laughs> against any background. So you can't go wrong with Gucci's velvet bags. I personally, because I'm a purple fan, chose this one, but yeah, look into all the beautiful colors they bring out. So, like I said before, if you wanted to wear this bag cross body, it does look nice, it sits at a really nice spot. However, I would not advise to do this just because of the mark that's gonna build up here. So, if you were to just use it as a shoulder bag, um, it sits pretty low. I think it's pretty comparable to the Chanel Mini Rectangular, but yeah, I mean, of course, wear it the way you prefer. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know about the little dangers <laughs> that come with this velvety beauty. So in terms of the Maman flap, do I think that this is a classic? I mean, it has been establishing itself over the years now. Its popularity has decreased a little bit. Um, but I think it's just a very classical style. 
Um, I mean, it's your regular flat back, so, you know, Chanel's flat backs have existed for decades and I'm pretty sure this one can exist forever as well. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so I think that was everything. Um, please let me know in the comment section down below if you do own this bag and what color you own it in and how you have experienced the wear and tear of this bag. I think that might actually help people who are still looking for reviews on the Maman bag and they are still deciding maybe if they want or do not want to add this bag to their collection. Please let us know in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any other questions, let me know. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and support this little new channel here. And um, I will provide you with a lot more bag talk <laughs> soon. Yeah, I think that was everything for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!